Hello again everybody. So unfortunately it's a wet windy day outside so I've decided to come into the garage and share a few updates with you guys um, and also just do a quick bit on um, how my pannier rack is attached on the left hand side because I know someone was trying to copy it and having a bit of trouble. Um, so if I just get you guys up in here, basically the bolt that it's attached to is the one that goes through the rear pannier rack on the bike. Um, now I removed the original bolt and put a longer one through to allow me to attach the rack to it. But the problem comes where the where the bolt comes through, right next to it is where the bolt goes through for the um, seat. Um, and basically that bit just kind of protrudes out a little bit and the guy was having a little bit of trouble um, basically getting this to fit on because it was coming up against that raised bit. So all I've done, you can see that the bolt I've put through is actually quite long. So on the back of that I've put several washers to bring it out so it's away from that raised bit that it's next to. And that's all it is. It's nothing complicated. And it is also, I should point out, only connected by that one bolt so you don't really want to be putting an awful lot of weight on it. I haven't actually got my pannier attached solely to the rack. All this is really for is just to keep the pannier away from the wheel when it's turning. Um, the pannier is actually attached up here, you can see, um, to that main rack. And this really is just a, you know, to keep it away from the wheel and also just a bit of extra. Um, I've cable tied it on as well. but that wasn't really that necessary, it's just to sort of keep it from moving around too much. So yeah, hopefully that helps anyone who's trying to copy that mod. Um, as I say, just make sure you put a long enough bolt through that you can put as many washers as you want behind it just to bring it out so that it doesn't foul on any of the other parts of the bike. So yeah, there you go. Right, let me show you the other bits I wanted to show you. So I've acquired some new panniers. Uh, let's go over this side, it's probably easy to see. Don't actually need my torch right now. Turn that off. There we go. Right, so what I've done, uh, let's start with this one up here. So this is basically just a normal tool roll. Um, it was about £9 or something, £10 on eBay. It's just a generic thing, like fake leather, whatever. Um, but it seems to be relatively water resistant. So I've just got that and, I mean, I know they normally go on the front or whatever, but it just seemed to me that this would be a perfect place to put it because there's quite a nice gap between where the top box is and where the back of the seat is and I thought that's a sort of little bit of space that I could utilise so I tend to keep um, my keys or my wallet or whatever else in there just because it's nice easy access around the back of me um, and then I've gone for these ones for the sides uh, again they were on eBay I think they were about £12 each something like that free delivery um, again it's just kind of fake plasticky, leathery stuff, um, but they seem to be pretty good, I mean, they're not massive, I didn't want to go too big on the panniers on this bike because, you know, obviously I could have done, but the thing is, is it is still only a 125, so I don't really want to go too mad overloading it, I just wanted a little bit of extra storage for, I don't know, say I can chuck my waterproof trousers in there, maybe a coat, whatever, if you scrunch it up enough. Um, you know, just because this bike has absolutely nothing as standard apart from the rear rack, it's just every little helps, isn't it? So I've got this one on this side, um, which, as you saw when we were looking at the rack, is mainly attached to this top rack here, but then it's also just cable tied onto the rack to stop it from moving around too much. Um, and then on the other side, I've got the same again. There we go. So this is exactly the same bag, um, but what I've done, again, it's attached to the top here, and basically on the exhaust, oh, let's get a bit dark again, hang on a minute, let me get the torch out. There we go. Right, so on the exhaust, I'll just bring you guys down here and move this out of the way a bit. Where it's obviously going to touch, I've put a little bit of, um, that's actually sort of aluminium exhaust repair tape. That's really just to protect the exhaust from getting um, rubbed up against because currently, apart from being a bit dirty, this exhaust is absolutely mint. So I've got that, and then as you can see here, on the underside of the bag, on the back of the bag, I've actually got some um, um, heat shield uh, panel protecting 
stuff, which again is like an aluminium stuff with some foam behind it. Um, and that just, you know, protects it from the heat. This exhaust doesn't actually create too much heat, which is quite nice. But that does just, again, help to protect the bag. Obviously, I don't have to worry about putting a rack or anything on this side because the exhaust itself is stopping the bag from getting anywhere near the wheel. So there we go. So yeah, that's all it is. That's all I was going to show you guys today. So overall storage on the bike now, obviously I've got the two side panniers, I've got the um, tool roll here, I've got a relatively large back box here. The only other thing I do want to do at some point, um, my brother is actually a welder and fabricator, so I'm going to get him to just strengthen this rear rack a little bit because whilst it seems to be able to take the weight of this absolutely fine, this is a relatively large top box. I mean I actually had this on my 600. so. Um, you know, it's a little bit heavier than what you'd normally put on this, and you know, once you start putting stuff in it, like uh, if I put my work boots in it first, you know, um, they're quite heavy. So I just worry a little bit that these this rack isn't quite that strong because it's nice and thick here, but once you get to the bit that it's actually sitting on, it's just these really thin bits. So we're thinking of um, just welding, um, infilling this basically, so that it just gives it a bit more structural strength. And yeah, that'll be it for now. Um, oh, trying to think what else I was going to do to the bike. Not a lot for the minute. I do, at some point, really want to get that new suspension strut. Um, but I'm going to have to wait for a little bit, because a few other things have come up that I need to spend a fair bit of money on. So that's kind of on the back burner for the minute. But um, yeah, I'm quite happy with how things are all this at the minute. She's looking quite all right. I'm umming and ahhing about a screen as well. I did have one. I had I had a Van Van a few years ago, and I did have a screen on it. The problem I find is getting it set up properly, because uh, I think I had a Givy A6 something or other, and it's just getting it at the right height where you don't get too much buffeting. It's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll consider that, and obviously various other things. But yeah, there we go, guys. That'll do for the updates. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always I hope um, I did manage to help out anyone who was struggling to copy that side rack mod uh, and for now if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel if you did like the video please give it a like and yeah catch you guys again soon